This is a recording of The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. The chapter is entitled, Hips. I like coffee. I like tea. I like the boys and the boys like me. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. One day you wake up and they are there. Ready and waiting like a new Buick with the keys in the ignition. Ready to take you where? They're good for holding a baby when you're cooking, Rachel says, turning the jump rope a little quicker. She has no imagination. You need them to dance, says Lucy. If you don't get them, you may turn into a man. Nanny says this and she believes it. She is this way because of her age. That's right, I add, before Lucy or Rachel can make fun of her. She is stupid, all right, but she is my sister. But most important, hips are scientific. I say repeating what Alicia already told me. It's the bones that let you know which skeleton was a man's when it was a man and which a woman's. They bloom like roses. I continue because it's obvious I'm the only one who can speak with any authority. I have science on my side. The bones just one day open, just like that. One day you might decide to have kids, and then where are you going to put them? Got to have room. Bones got to give. But don't have too many, or your behind will spread. That's how it is, says Rachel, whose mama is as wide as a boat. And we just laugh. What I'm saying is who here is ready? You got to be able to know what to do with hips when you get them. I say making it up as I go. You got to know how to walk with hips. Practice, you know. Like it half of you wanted to go one way and the other half the other. That's to lullaby it, Nanny says. That's to rock the baby asleep inside you. And then she begins singing, seashells, copper bells, Evie, Ivy, over. I'm about to tell her that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But the more I think about it, you got to get the rhythm. And Lucy begins to dance. She has the idea, though she's having trouble keeping her end of the double dutch steady. It's got to be just so, I say. Not too fast and not too slow. Not too fast and not too slow. We slow the double circles down to a certain speed so Rachel, who has jumped in, can practice shaking it. I want to shake like hoochie coochie, Lucy says. She is crazy. I want to move like heebie-jeebie, I say, picking up on the cue. I want to be Tahiti or merengue or electricity or trembalique. Trembalique, yes, that's a good one. And then it's Rachel who starts it. Skip, skip, snake in your hips, wiggle around and break your lip. Lucy waits a minute before her turn. She is thinking. Then she begins, the waitress with the big fat hips who pays the rent with taxi tips says nobody in town will kiss her on the lips because, because she looks like Christopher Columbus. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. She misses on maybe so. I take a little while before my turn, take a breath, and dive in. Some are skinny like chicken lips. Some are baggy like soggy band-aids. After you get out of the bathtub, I don't care what kind I get, just as long as I get hips. Everybody getting into it now except Nanny, who is still humming. Not a girl, not a boy, just a little baby. She's like that. When the two arcs open wide like jaws, Nanny jumps in across from me. The rope, tick ticking, the little gold earrings our mama gave her for her first Holy Communion, bouncing. 
She is the color of a bar of naphtha laundry soap. She is like the little brown piece left at the end of the wash. The hard little bone. My sister. Her mouth opens. She begins. My mother and your mother were washing clothes. My mother punched your mother right in the nose. What color blood came out? Not that old song, I say. You gotta use your own song. Make it up, you know? But she doesn't get it or won't. It's hard to say which. The rope turning, turning, turning. Engine, engine number nine. Running down Chicago line. If the train runs off the track, do you want your money back? Do you want your money back? Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. I can tell Lucy and Rachel are disgusted, but they don't say anything because she's my sister. Yes, no, maybe so. Yes, no, maybe so. Nanny, I say, but she doesn't hear me. She is too many light years away. She is in a world we don't belong to anymore. Nanny, going, going. Y-E-S spells yes and out you go.